if you were disappointed that the Golden State Warriors lost the NBA Finals in 2019, hit that like button. If you were happy that the Raptors won the NBA championship, hit that like and subscribe button. What's going on, everybody? Enlisted Ghost, come back with another physical fitness video. Not only is it strictly for physical fitness, but it applies to a lot of the things that you all come to my channel to see, to view, to learn more about, and that is law enforcement and military. What a coincidence. But a lot of you all probably don't understand that or have never applied it. Okay, so with that being said, I'm going to give you all free knowledge. This is this is power, literally, within the palm of your hand. Like, if, think of the, you, you all saw the Avengers, right? The, the, the glove and, the, and the, the jewels, the, the diamonds, whatever you wanna call it, and the power, yeah, that's pretty much what this is. You get where I'm coming from. Okay, so moving forward. Not only can you apply these training techniques or these tasks or whatever you wanna take this as, to law enforcement, but you can apply it to the military, to the private sector, whether you wanna be a standout athlete or in track and field, it doesn't matter. I'm talking about local law enforcement, sheriffs, state troopers, correctional officers. I mean, I really don't know what you all would do with this, but I mean, if you just wanna be physically fit, go right ahead, it's awesome. And also federal law enforcement. And this closely represents the same type of training environment, depending on the type of person you are and what you do with your agency to the military. But once I get into the type of exercises and the, the, the testing tasks, you all will see how it closely relates to each other in all different many factions. So there are a lot of law enforcement tests out there that are pretty similar, like I've already stated. And, and those testing tasks are the sit and reach, pull-ups, a 1.5 mile run, it may be longer, 300 meter or 300 yard dash, shuttle run, agility run with cone drills, or a one minute push up, sit up, and maybe even a bench press. It really just depends on the agency you're testing for and just the simple standards that they're setting. Not saying their test is simple, but you hopefully you get what I'm trying to say. But before we get into the next part of the video, uh, so you all need to stay tuned. I know you all like to watch my videos for military and tactical stuff, shooting, drills, whatever you want to call it, but stay tuned. I'm going to be talking about some concealed carry stuff. You all watch Grand Thumb or T-Rex Arms. Yeah, sorry, Lucas. I, I didn't mean to do that. I actually watch you like all the time. Facebook, well, not Facebook, actually, it's YouTube, Instagram whatever but yeah like i said man you you all just need to stay tuned all types of holsters i'm talking about t-rex arms holsters tier one concealed holsters it, it doesn't matter just stay tuned bro you're, you're not gonna be this
Okay, so one thing that's really gonna help, especially in law enforcement, if you're chasing someone, and you have to get out of your, your vehicle for whatever reason, you're gonna have weight. You're not just gonna have your body weight or just your pistol and your ammo, or maybe just a rifle. You have on full fatigues, full jacket. Maybe you have a short sleeve. Maybe a polo if you're fortunate. Then you have your boots. You have your two magazines, maybe three extra. You have your fully loaded, hopefully a Glock, 17 preferably. RMR, no extended mag with a TLR HO on it. <laughs> then you have your body armor. Then you have your baton. You have your light. You have your handcuffs, maybe two sets of handcuffs. You got keys, handcuff keys. And then you have your radio. All that stuff plays a major factor and how fast you're gonna be able to move when you're running. So doing these short sprints with a weighted vest is paramount to the success of your physical endurance and your your agility to be able to chase after someone or run after someone so doing these type of drills and these workouts with this vest on definitely definitely will help guaranteed Alright guys, so that comes to the conclusion of the video. Remember, sorry if that was too loud, I'm not too sure. But remember, you have to be consistent. Be consistent with the healthy eating. Be consistent with the working out. Stay consistent with the, the program, the scheduling, what you're supposed to do that day. Don't treat your workouts, don't treat your reps. Please do not cheat your reps. That is one thing that is really going to mess you up. And you have to be motivated. I'm not going to get too much into it because it's just, you're just going to have to do it get over drink a pre-workout i don't i don't know punch yourself slap yourself yell at the top of your lungs if it if that's it what it takes for you to get out of the bed because you don't want to or i'm telling you yeah then that's what you need to do because it's it comes down to you if you want to be great and if you want to supersede everybody else that's in competition with you hey it's your sf slot or your swat slot or you getting hired by a police department or a federal agency it's it's your path you do what you want so, in conclusion, like I said again, stay tuned for more fitness, tactical shooting videos, medical videos also, and we'll be back. Really?